Hi, and welcome back to another recap of what I've gotten in into the past week. Uh, I've, um, I have uh, been, I usually do my videos on Friday, uh, but today is Saturday. Uh, this is, uh, so all my uh, stuff for today will cover from, it'll cover from the 13th, which was a Friday, to the 20th, which was a Friday. I haven't got my mail yet on Saturday, so let me just show you what I got in the past week. Um, let me start out with something I should have shown last week, uh, but forgot to show. It was a, a, a um, some cards I picked up at, at a Black Friday sale that was held uh, in in um, at, a, at a card shop in Illinois that I, I, did, I that I did a phone order for. And uh, this was, if you remember the Carlton Fisk bat I got last uh, last uh, week, uh, this was from the same purchase. And this is. A box of 1997 tops cards that I'm going to use to to send out to the mail. So that's that's what I got. Uh, I got that last week, and so I, I forgot to show it. Uh, let me uh, start out now with the cards I got in this week. Quite a few actually. Uh, let's begin with uh, middle infielder uh, Ken Gearhart of the Baltimore Orioles. Sign this 89 tops card. Next up, another middle infielder, second baseman Dwayne Kuyper of the Cleveland Indians, out of 81 tops card. He's now a uh, broadcaster for the San Francisco Giants. Uh, next up is a uh, former Dodger, and, but he's really known for all the years he played with for the Baltimore Orioles, and that's catcher Rick Dempsey. This card, I think, has been out for a while. Next up is pitcher Bob Ochinko of the Cleveland Indians. Signed this card, this 81 Tops card. So here's that. Next up is catcher John Tamargo of the Montreal Expos. Catcher. He signed as an ink. It's a little harder to see, but there's that. Next up, also 81 tops card. This is pitcher Adrian Devine of the Texas Rangers. There's that. Next up is outfielder Bob Molinaro of the uh, Chicago White Sox. Uh, he actually, I sent him this card. This is 81 tops again. But he also threw in a couple of extras that I want to show you. The first one is an 82 FLIR card signed there on the bottom. And he was also kind enough to throw in a 4x6 photo of himself in a White Sox uniform signed down there on the bottom. So he sent me three things. So I appreciate that very much. Next up, this one's been out for a while as well. This is uh, manager John Watham. He was a catcher when he played, uh, but he was also a manager of the Kansas City Royals. And he signed this, kind of hard to see. He signed across his, his jacket there. But there's that. This one's been out for a while. Next up is Dyer Miller of the New York Mets signed an 81 tops card. There's that. He also signed a couple of other things as well. He signed a business card. He's the pitching coordinator for the Houston Astros. And he signed down there on the bottom underneath the logo, the Astros logo. They also returned my letter that I wrote him, and he included a note on the bottom. I'll quickly read the note. He wrote, John, thank you for your nice note and for being a baseball fan. I really enjoyed playing for the Angels. I mentioned that in the letter. We had a good team and a lot of good teammates. I hope you and your family have a safe and healthy holiday season. Best wishes, Dyer. 
So anyway, that was kind of a nice little note to get. It's always nice when you get a, a personal note from a player. And so he sent that. And then let's see, we got a couple more cards to show. Uh, next up is pitcher Paul Mitchell of the Milwaukee Brewers. Signed this 81 Tops card. And the last card I got for the week came in yesterday as well as the Mitchell card. This is infielder Dave McKay of the Oakland A's. Dave McKay, uh, besides being a, uh, a player for quite a few years in the majors, also has been a coach for an even longer time in the majors. He's been uh, he's mostly closely associated with uh, Tony La Russa. He was uh, a coach for Tony La Russa with the A's, uh, also with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, and I believe now he's the first base coach of the Chicago Cubs, or at least he was last season. So there's that. All right, I have one 3x5 card to show this week, only one. Uh, and this was from comedian uh, Seth MacFarlane. Uh, now, the signature's a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's on the funny side. Uh, here's, here's that. And as you can see, he just signed his initials. Okay, uh, I'd be curious if anybody out there has gotten him before, can tell me if this is the way he normally signs. I'd be kind of curious to find out. I thought it was kind of funny. Okay, and uh, so anyway, uh, feel free to PM me if you have any thoughts about uh, whether this is the way uh, McFarland normally signs. So this is what I got from him. I have a couple more purchases to show you. Uh, the first one's a photo I got in this week. It, it was an eBay success, uh, and this is from actress Lauren Bacall. Uh, this is an eBay success, and I purchased this, and it's a great shot. That's why I like. I decided to go ahead and buy it and there she is so that's a beautiful image there and then finally I have two book purchases to show uh, and both of them come courtesy of Zane Savage he's sort of my book connection especially for sports and political books and the first one I want to show is a sports book this is uh, Yankee manager Joe Torrey uh, the book is called Joe Torrey's Ground Rules for Winners Signed, I mean, uh, there's the book, and the signature is right here. So there's that. And then the last book I want to show, it's a political book, and this is uh, a book by Dick Cheney, um, written by Vice President Dick Cheney, called In My Time. There's the book, there's the image, there's this picture there with my fingers covering it, and he signed it on a book plate that was made for the book, and he signed it there. This is my first Cheney autograph. I have quite a few political autographs. Uh, I have a Bill Clinton book, uh, it's a, an, an, um, it's some Jimmy Carter books, uh, you know, uh, uh, I got, I got quite a few things. Uh, uh, Colin Powell, uh, I'm kind of looking over in that direction. and uh, So, again, quite a few books uh, that are political, uh, uh, politically related. So, anyway, that's it for this week. Um, and uh, I'm happy to, to have uh, brought it to you this week. Uh, please uh, feel free to PM me with any uh, uh, questions or comments, or you can just comment generally down below. I'll be back next week with another uh review, and uh, thank you so much. I'll talk to you later.